Data miners recently found a hidden cutscene within Halo Infinite which could potentially reveal new campaign DLC as well as a multi-team mode revealed as well. Do you want to know more? Well stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going Halo fans? Kevin here once again giving you another video and Happy New Year to everyone as well. But yes, you heard me right, there's an unfinished cutscene within Halo Infinite's game files that was recently revealed and has some pretty interesting implications as well. So let's not waste more time and let's just take a look at it. So yes, very interesting. So there's some aspects I wanted to point out from this clip as well, guys, to kind of maybe theorize and see what's going to be happening forward. Obviously, since this scene was cut from the game, this is supposed to be apparently like a mid-credits kind of ending kind of thing, that since it is cut, it might never come to fruition, but certainly fun to talk about because there's certainly some implications here. One thing to point out is how similar this starts out to Discover Hope, right? Or the beginning of the game with the pilot zooming back out and finding Master Chief. Well, it kind of seems to be the same kind of thing again, but this time with a new kind of UNSC member if you listen in very closely right here towards the end. UNSC tag detected. Designation. Friend. So UNSC the tag detection friend. Who could this be? Well, we talked about this on my live stream, which we do stream every Tuesday and Thursday, guys. So we kind of speculated a little bit on this. Some people thought it might have been the Spirit of Fire from Halo Wars 2, which could totally make sense. As Halo Wars 2 was the game that introduced the Banished to the Halo franchise, I could totally see that happening as well. It'd be The hardest part for them would be trying to get off of the Ark into Zeta Halo. Because if I remember correctly, they were kind of stuck on the Ark and they needed to find a way to get off of it. Obviously, some space magic could have happened and they could have found a way. Now, the one I'm kind of leaning towards to is the UNSC Infinity possibly coming back. Yeah, yeah, we did see the UNSC Infinity get completely beat up, right? But one thing that kind of makes me think it might be is that you look at the lighting on the pilot here. Take note as you can see the lighting brightening up on his face, which makes me think that some kind of light is reflecting off of something onto these main characters here. And I feel like the look that the pilot gives is a really happy look, like a look of hope and something very positive, like very reassuring to him. So which would, would make me think would be the infinity coming back as well. Cause even though yes, he did say within the campaign of Halo Infinite that the UNSC was like taken out, but I don't think they ever really said it was fully destroyed. I mean, it was kind of implied, but never really truly given. And I think that if you're going to destroy the infinity, you would show that like on screen. I just kind of have a feeling like somehow they got away. I think this could have been cut just because it'd be kind of like too much of the same thing at towards the end of the game, right? Because with Atriox's return at the end of the game, it's kind of like the same kind of feeling with this cutscene as it did with Atriox kind of coming back as well. So replicating that would be kind of redundant and you don't really want to do that very often when it comes to cutscenes, especially. It's still very interesting from this cut content. We'll just have to keep an eye on it, see if we get any more concrete information. I'll make sure to share it on the channel here. Next, we have the reveal of what looks to be multi-team coming to Halo Infinite. Halo API has access obviously to the Halo Infinite API and they posted this little picture here saying Eagle, Cobra, Hades, and Valkyrie teams as well. Right now I believe you can only select either Eagle or Cobra as your teams right now within custom games. Though this is very confusing to me because how do you really pull off multi-team when you have personalized colorization for enemy players? I mean, ultimately, yeah, like anyone who is not your team color is an enemy color, so it still would work out all right. But it's also good to know like which team you need to kind of focus on. Say like if, say, Hades team was kind of taking the lead, you'd want to know who was on Hades team to maybe focus on them a little bit more because they're in the lead. Though it looks like from this image that enemy team colors will all just be the other teams and your team color would be your team color. So functionally, I think it'd still be fine, but it would be maybe a 
little bit more clear if maybe you were to select like what Hades team color is, what Valkyrie's team color is and things like that. Which is certainly something I think that 343 could patch in at an eventual date. This is currently not in the game, probably in development right now. So it's like kind of in the game, kind of not. We'll have, just have to wait and see how 343 truly implements multi-team. And again, I'll let you guys know on this channel as soon as we get some concrete information. This kind of compounds onto the recent metal leak from Halo.API as well that I talked about recently on the channel here, guys. But some leaked game modes that will be coming into Halo Infinite eventually because they have metals and also voice acting tied to it as well with game modes like Assault, Extraction, uh, Infection, Juggernaut, King of the Hill, Ricochet, and VIP all having their own medals and also voice lines tied to them as well. So I think it's only a matter of time until we see these game modes brought in. We don't know if they'll be tied to events or they'll be brought back as permanent modes or just added in the custom games in general. We'll just have to wait and see. So if you want to stay updated as soon as that information goes live, guys, as soon as you get some concrete information, make sure you subscribe to the channel. If you're new to the channel or missed any content from me recently, check out this playlist right here. I'm going to link to all my Halo Infinite news and informational videos. Thanks so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.